For most women, a handbag is more than an accessory. It's where you keep the basics and then some. But as cute as our bags may be, they can also put a strain on our bodies. So if you have back pains or are feeling a little out of whack, your designer bag, that Louis, that Gucci, that might be the problem. Celebrity body and posture expert Dr. Liza Egbaga is here to unpack and tell us why our purse might be that problem. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. So a lot of people don't give a second thought to how those purses and backpacks can be harming um, our posture, our bodies. But why should we be more cautious when we are choosing what bag we're gonna use? Well, for myself in clinic, I see so many patients come in with back pain, shoulder pain, scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine, all caused by carrying the wrong bag, putting too many things in the bag, or carrying the bag incorrectly. So simply by changing the bag that you're carrying, or getting rid of it all together, you can actually help treat those problems without without any treatment at all. Look, at that's an easy fix, but can you talk about some of the different bag styles and how that actually can harm your body and your overall health? Absolutely, so one of the things that I see that's a big problem is when women carry their bag on one shoulder like this, or men carry a laptop bag or messenger bag on one shoulder like this, what your body does is it actually compensates and raises your shoulder up to prevent the bag from slipping down. And this can lead to all the problems that I just mentioned. Or even with backpacks, sometimes people will just carry the backpack on one shoulder and end up doing this. Or if you have the wrong kind of backpack, you're actually going to hunch in to try and prevent that backpack from slipping down. And that's the opposite of what we want. So there's some things that you need to look for when you're looking for the right bag to carry. So can you talk about some of the negative side effects you've seen um, from people that are using bags that aren't the right fit for them? Well, for, that, for the neck pain, you can get neck pain that can lead to headache. You can get shoulder pain, upper back, and lower back pain as well. And you know what? If you're altering your body posture because of your back, it can even lead to foot pain and plantar fasciitis. So from top down. Oh my goodness. Now you have some exercises that you can share with us for the viewers who may be experiencing pain induced by wearing the wrong bags. Can you start to show us what exercises you have? Absolutely. So one of the things that we mentioned is that when you are putting the bag on your shoulder and it's not cross body, you tend to get tight here. So one of the things you can do is actually just take your hand and grab your shoulder. And not only does it feel good, so that lump, you just want to grab it like that meaty part at the top of your shoulder. Yeah and hold that for 30 seconds. Oh. And that's going to help release those tight areas. And then after you've done that, you actually want to stretch the area. So to do that, you're just going to take your hand, bring your right ear to your right shoulder, and then you're going Ooh, to look down good. towards your armpit. <laughs> and you should feel a really great stretch in that area that you just released. Yes. And then my all-time favorite, because this helps to correct your posture and long-term helps to prevent pain, is you're going to interlock your sh hands behind your back and then you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together so that you feel a stretch in the chest area and then you want to reach your hands to the ground. I am stretching, I am stretching, I'm feeling good. I appreciate those tips and they're really easy. Nothing, nothing over exerting there, nothing too crazy. Um, and I see you have a line of bags there. You created these because you felt like you can help people suffering from some of these issues. So can you tell us about these bags and why these would help? Absolutely, so one of the things you want to look for and why I put it here is the horizontal should actually be bigger than the vertical. So what that does is it helps to distribute weight over a larger surface area, which means that you'll have less pressure on your shoulder and a flat base actually keeps it balanced. And these are actually designed to wear cross body, which is the optimal position to carry your bags in. And they have a nice cushiony strap at the shoulder. So any of that force is at least cushioned and it has a friction material on it as well. So you don't have to worry about it adjusting as you're moving, it stays with you. And then lastly, because I have so many patients who have arthritis in their hands, and so they need something that's easy to open. So it's just an easy open bag, easily accessible. You can see everything in there. And then the backpacks have all those same features as well, the cushioning straps, the wide base, 
And last but not least, we all have different body sizes, right? Some of us are small, some of us are tall. Mm -hmm. And so you want adjustable straps. So we have an adjustable belt strap. Well, so Dr. Liza, I can tell that you have really put a lot of thought into this. And obviously, you're an expert, and we appreciate all these great tips, and I'm going to be doing those exercises. You can find all of this info on DrLizaEggBaga.com.